Okay, today I'm going to go over installing a new pool pump for your pool equipment. There is a Pentair Whisper Flow 3 4 horsepower. And I like the Whisper Flow because it has a really large pump area here. You can see here the basket's really large. And this is important with debris and your flow of your pool. Okay, so in the first part, I'm going to go ahead and I'll go over the wiring of the pump itself. All that comes in the box is actually the motor and the pump. You can use the existing wiring that comes out of the time clock if it's still in good shape. You need a 1 4 socket wrench to get the screw out the back of this particular pump model. Most of them are the same size, 1 4 screw to get to the wires. And one quick note, this is a 3 4 horsepower, so you want to make sure you match up your pump with the amount of flow you need for your pool. I'll go ahead and post the flow rate for the 3 4 horsepower and also the other ones so you can get an idea of the flow you're going to need with 20 feet of pipe. And that's important, you don't want to go under with the flow, and also if you have a sand filter, you don't want to go over with the flow because that could really screw up the filter, the filtration. And this is for a, for a 220 volt installation. Sometimes you can actually get a pump that has both wiring configurations in the back of it. This one here is only for a 220 volt um, system. And the voltage is here marked on the side of the pump when you purchase it, so make sure you get the right voltage. A 220 volt pump up to a 110 breaker, it'll probably burn out within a minute or so. And so basically the wiring is very simple, you have load 1 and load 2, you just hook up each wire to each section, doesn't matter which wire, and then you put the ground wire on the green. So it's really basic. If this was a dual voltage one, you'd have to change some wires around, but of course there's only hookups for one type of voltage here in this particular pump. You want to make sure you turn the breaker off before you do anything. You can tell this is a 220 because the breaker is a double breaker, so you know you have a 220 volt breaker here versus a 110, which would look something like this here. If your pump was hooked up one of these, you'd have a 110 pump. Now that I got some room here, I can see the old wiring. This is a ground wire here. So this is the green ground wire. Take that one off first ground and the two load wires are right here load one and load two doesn't matter which one we wire to which wire with the new pump either and so I pulled those three wires through again the green is the ground and you have load one and load two and let me finish wiring it now that I got it plumbed in put the little 90 degree thing in here doesn't come with it, so if you have one in your existing pump, you want to take it off or buy one. You feed the wires through here. It's going to be a tight fit. Got a lot of room back here, and I'm kind of losing my light, but this is the ground green wire. You pull this one out. Put this one around it. It doesn't matter which wire you put on load one or load two. I'm going to put the one with the more slack on load one, which is this one. I'm going to push this one back a little bit, and I'll get it around the bolt. If your wires have the clip, you just clip them right onto that spot right here. Okay, I move this wire out of the way. I got this one here, under there. Just push it all the way. Okay, I have that one on. I had to put the camera down for a second so I can kind of push it on there. That one's on there, good. Let me get the last load one wire on. Okay, I have that one on there. So it's pretty easy. You have your ground right here. Your load one and load two. That's all there is on the back of that. Put the cap back on. I'm just going to test it real quick. There's no water in the pump, so it's not going to ruin the plumbing. Just want to turn it on real quick to make sure that it fires up. Put this on here. Okay, I have the timer off over there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the breaker back on. If the motor makes any noise. There we go. Last thing you gotta do is take the ground wire that you'll find over by the equipment and hook it on to the whisper flow. It goes underneath actually. Back here in the back, there's a little screw for the ground wire right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. And it's also a one fourth nut that holds the ground wire on back there. And so now the pump is complete. I have it wired and plumbed in there.